just fly. Starry night. Now, Andy was a master diver in the U.S. Army and a Vietnam vet. Two tours a thousand feet per minute. They can't hear you, but they can see you, so give them the waves, they taxi by. And there we see Mr. Stan Music up there flying his beautiful FG1 Corsair Air Force. You saw the Corsair slide. Well, that actually is one of the Corsairs that was used in that program hmm. for Robert Conrad flying the aircraft. The FF 214 squad with Bob Bob Latchie now stands up on the airplane for his day. He's a very transport rate about. He's a brand new license over 70 years old. He's flying his commercial charter. He's going to be flying his head top and top jet. He's very low and down in the third floor. FG1. So what's the difference between F4U and FG1? Well, not a whole lot. Basic same airframe. F4U, of course, there are some of the results are covered in balloon. When the FG1, they're covered in fabric. Same power. Also known as the Bent Wing Fire to the Corsair aircraft was built as a carrier-based airplane with Marines. They didn't like the way the airplane landed on the carrier deck, said it bounced too much. So they sort of stopped flying the carriers, turned over the bridge, the bridge modified the landing a little bit, took the bounce out of it, said, all right, we've got to work that out. They changed the approach to the carrier deck to get the carrier fighting all the time. Again, known as the Bent Wing Fighter, except Bent Wing for a reason. That great big R2800 made the baby So what they did, they bent the wings and made them a shorter landing gear. Get the structure in and a shorter landing gear. Got the airplane, got the box out of it, the guys like it. Come up, Air Force has a headquarters located in Harlingen, Texas. The rest of the replacement, replacement cost for this airplane, if you can find one to buy, it's going to be about $2 million to replace this airplane today. What is the authorization on it? She's IA also. And we do fly and stand and attend the medical school and train as a anesthesiologist with a subspecialty in pediatric anesthesiology. He has been a board certified obstetric and gynecologist and does aviation medical exams in the world today. Oh, there's a nice shot for you. There 
Next, of course, they're coming. Oh, 2800 coming by for us this afternoon. Nothing like the sounds of round. The big old round Pratt & Whitney engine out front. Again, 2,800 cubic inches in front of that airplane. Cut up in little pieces, use the scrap. Back in 2001, this particular Corsair got to go for a ride itself. They folded the wings on the aircraft, put it in the back of a, of a C, yeah, C5, and took it for a ride. They got transported up to Alaska doing an air show. A stand's come through with what's called down and dirty, flaps down, gear down, driving the airplane right down there, show center line course. Take it all for us. On that one way mission to bomb Japan, this is the airplane that flew with one of those six. This is a couple of past where we watch out tight inside the gym when we come back to the people going later. Program demonstrates this full demonstration of the airport. And we got pilot Mark Novak. They changed the designation and made it an attack aircraft to kick A-26. Mark Novak on board at 10 on much on board here. Five coming by for us now again. Six teams aircraft depart the carrier deck morning. They got noticed about 200 miles further offshore than they wanted to be. They had to launch airplanes. It was all about the airplanes. They were all airplanes. They were attacking over 2,000 years of the homeland. The Doolittle Raiders were the first ones to do it. The P-51 Mustang from Drawing World to Flying Curtains. Flagship F-21 F-4U Corsair Force. We started out really beautiful flying museum pieces. Now Lady Liberty on the hand has been kept as much as possible in the original configuration of what it was built. It has the original instrumentation operating by the doors and about turning the doors open. Can you come here and show the public what yes. During World War II, crew chiefs started mounting guns on these airplanes all over the place. They had as many as eight 30 millimeter cannon in the, in the nose of the aircraft. They put 50 cows on the cheeks, two on each side. They had two 50 cows to get on board. The aircraft also was utilized on the small conflicts during that era. Jimmy Ford combined the P 51 Mustang. Nice fast force of the airplane. They used to skip bombing with the B-25 during World War II in the Philippines with the aircraft. Wow. One more photo of Op Reach one of our airplanes, A-26, and we the Lady Liberty coming by for us this afternoon. Oh, nice pass to be 25. And Stan 
Mike comes by the Corsair, the FG-1, the Goodyear manufactured airplane. Produced different things during the war. Maytag, yeah, Maytag. The people that build the washing machines for us. They produced parts for 16 different combat aircraft, including the B-29, the B-17, the B-26, the B-51. Packard, of course, built the Rolls-Royce model and engine under the license to Rolls-Royce. based in Eden, Oklahoma. We're going to try and bring it down there so it's flight line for us and give it a wave or posse taxi by. Of course, we got Mark Novak in control. The right seat's going to be Mr. Ken Launcher in there. Again, you look at the proximity of the pilot to the props of the aircraft, and you can understand why the pilots were deaf in the left ear and the co-pilots were deaf in the right ear. No such thing as soundproofing in these aircraft. That was a weight. That was a weight you needed to carry aloft during battle. Jimmy Ford, I'm up there flying a bit of a P-51 Mustang. This is Mustang. It's Charlotte's Chariot 2 flying for us today. Jet aerobatics. These are flying jet aerobatics for over 30 years. The way he is, he is an airline captain. This is the thousand performers, and he is the highest time jet performer flying on circuit today. I'm talking around, this is a brand new jet. There's only a third air show they've done to perform with this jet aircraft. Now let's think about this. This airplane is about 50 years old. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 